Welcome to the third of seven um, return to dance fitness workouts. Um, this is the harder video, so hopefully you should have done the warm up video from either last week or maybe because um, it's too echoey, seen the warm up video from the live session. Okay, so this week we are going to do a similar uh, session to last week. However, we are going to add an exercise to the core workout and the plyometric workout as well. If you find them too easy, don't you can just go back to the start of each workout and redo it. Um, it's entirely up to you. I, do, if you didn't do it last week, I wouldn't do recommend doing a whole new second rotation this this week. Um, just try and progressively get harder each week. That's what the whole um, whole um, workout um, series is is for. We're gonna make it slowly harder each week. So when it comes back to the live session, you can see the difference between what it was from the initial live session to the last live session as well. Okay, so the core workout again is going to be 20 seconds exercise, 10 seconds rest. So I'm quickly going to go through each all of them because I don't have enough time during each exercise, between each exercise, to demonstrate each one again. So the first one is the squat. Okay, going going down, feet facing forwards so and going down. Okay, and doing that. The next one is the lunge. Okay, the lunge going down forwards like that. And then you're alternating. Next one is the ceiling touches. Going all the way down. Okay, then you have calf raises. And then you go up and down, up and down. And the next one is the elbow to knee crunches. This you can either do up in stands and up or lying down. So I'm going to be lying down for these ones. Okay, in this demonstration, so you're going to go alternate elbow to knee crunch. So you're going to go one, two. That's the alternate knee to crunches. Okay, the next one, okay, is the leg raises. If you can't do the leg raises, you can just do one leg and then go back down and do the other leg and go back down. But the leg raises, you're going to go up, all the way up. And all the way down, make sure your feet doesn't touch touch the bottom. So I realise that you can't see my legs. Now switch over quickly. So you can go all the way up and all the way down as well. Okay, then the next one after that, okay, is the flutter kicks. Again with the flutter kicks, you can just do a one leg, one legged leg raise, or you can just make sure you get both feet up in the air and doing small flutters like that. Okay, next one after that, okay, it is the V sit. So with the V sit, you've got what you're going to do is go and go lie back down, okay, bring both arms to legs up and back down and up and back down. Okay, after that, it's our new exercise which you're adding into this week. And that's the ankle taps. So with the ankle taps, you go and have your legs or your ankles like that. Okay, but basically you're moving your trunk side to side and tapping your ankles. Okay, so that's what it looks on the side. This is what it looks like from the front. Okay, so legs out, touching. Okay, it does look a bit silly, but it's making sure that your side of your torso are, are going up again. It's adding rotation to your trunk. So that is the ankle taps. Next thing is the Russian twist, where you're going to lift your um, your legs up off in the air and basically hitting each side again, rotating that chunk to work your core. Okay, the next one after that is the V plank, which is the exercise we we added last week. So with the V plank, you're holding that V shape. Okay, okay, going down and up. Okay, and holding it for the 20 seconds as well. Okay, so that's the V plan, that's the exercise we added in last week. The next one is the press ups. With the press ups, okay, you can go on your knees if you want to do the press ups, okay, and making sure your back's not bent over too much, okay, you've got a nice flat body and doing the press ups like that. What I'll be demonstrating in the video is the knees, okay, off the ground and doing that, okay, so that's the press up, then you've got the plank, okay. The plank, you can go on your elbows, knees up, or you can go on your hands as well. Okay, so that's the plank. Then you have the shoulder taps, okay, and then you have the tricep dips, which I know some people will struggle with the tricep dips with the legs straight, so what you can do 
Okay, bend your knees. Okay, and then go down and then up. Okay, so then all the exercises, there are 15 exercises in total. Okay, so 15 exercises, 20 seconds exercise, 10 seconds rest. Just get some like interval timer ready. Don't forget to have some water. I'm just going to quick swig of water now as well because don't, there's not much rest in between each exercise. Okay, so 15 exercises, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, which means there's going to be seven and a half minutes for this whole circuit. Okay, we're going to start in five, four, three, and go into squats, two, one, and go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and stop there. Ten seconds rest. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Lunges. So, lunges. Make sure your knees not going over your toes. Alternating each time as well. And stop there. Next one, ceiling touches all the way up and then touching the floor as well. I'm not going to overdo it, but you can see if we lose the 20 seconds, I'll be able to get lower and lower. And go. Five, and stop there. The next one, okay, is the calf raises. So raising your calves off the floor and back down. So in three, two, one, and go. Three, two, one, and stop there. Okay, the next one is the elbow to knee crunches. So I'm going to go from the floor into these, so it should be looking like this, and like that. Go on the floor, and go. Ten seconds. And stop there. Okay, the next one, okay, is the leg raises. So, leg raises, I'm going to rotate my body quickly. And go. Okay, leg raises go all the way up and then back down. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and stop there. So the next one is the flutter kicks. You can't do the flutter kicks, do one leg raises instead. Three, two, one, and go. Flutter kicks. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. And stop there. Okay, the next one, okay, it is the V sits. If you can't do a V sit, just do a leg raise. Two, one, and go. Arms and legs going together. Crunch on it back down. And don't forget to breathe as you're doing it. And stop there. Okay, the next one gives the ankle taps. With the ankle taps, don't forget, like that, then moving your body sideways as well. And go. Ten seconds. 
Ten seconds. And stop there. So the next one is the Russian twists. Again, lift your legs up and then rotate in that trunk to get work on your core and go. Ten seconds. And stop there. Okay, after the Russian twists is going to be the V plank. So the V plank again, hold that V shape. Three, two, one, and go. Try and keep your legs straight, hold that V down your core or your trunk, and then you're holding your legs up as well. Don't forget to breathe as you're doing it. Three, two, one, and stop there. Okay. Next one, okay, it is the press ups. So go knees off the ground, I'm going to show you the knees off the ground and go. Ten seconds. And stop there. Next one after that is the plank. You can do the plank on your elbows, on your straight arms, under the elbows, ready, and go. Make sure your back's not too high, not too flat, or sorry, not too low or too high. You should be able to rest a tray on it as well. Three, two, one, and stop there. Next one is the shoulder taps. We're going to brace the camera for this one. Your knees can go on the floor if you want and do that. Or you can go off the ground, but I'm going to do as well. And go. And stop there. Last one, everyone's favourite, is the tricep dips. In five seconds. I keep my legs bent for this one, just for demonstration. You can go legs straight if you want. And stop there. Okay. I'm just going to roll my mat up. Okay, this is an opportunity to grab some water before we do the plyometrics. Again, if you want to redo the core, plyo, core workout, go back eight minutes and that should bring you back to the beginning of the core workout. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some water myself. I'm just going to demonstrate all the plyometric workouts as well, just to make sure you know what we have to do. We do have 20 seconds rest in between, but just to rejig your memories from last time. Okay, so actually this week's new exercise is going to be the first one. The new exercise are mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, okay, you do a similar stance than a full arm out plank. So we're going to do down as your plank, okay, you're going to bring your knees to your elbows. This is the pace I'm going to be doing it, although you can go in your much slower pace as well, okay. Next one, next exercise is going to be the jump squats. Can't do a jump squat, just do a normal squat, going down, then jumping, jump squats, you're going to jump and lunge, going down, and then jump. Okay, then you have a plain caper like you would in field, finishing off a field time dance. You can go fast hops, hop on one side, then hop on the other. 
His one this more step, I'm going to do a man step first. He can do, so you're going to do a man step. Do an elaborate double step. Do a buckle style double step. Or a single step as well. It's entirely up to you. I will be demonstrating the advanced step. Next thing I'm going to do is be in and out squats. Okay, next one is the broad jump. 180 turn, broad jump, 180 turn. Okay, after that is the plyo jack. I don't have enough space to be able to do a plyo jack, really. Okay, so I shall try my best. So, plyo jack, you're going to go in and out in your jump, rather like a jump, if you can't do a plyo jack, do a jumping jack, a jumping jack, looks like this, or faster, normal speed, a plyo jack is when you go down, out and in, out and in, okay, so that's a plyo jack, then you've got the split lunges, so again, if you can't do a split lunge, you do a jumping lunge, okay, split lunge, you're going up, out, and out, okay, I have very tight hamstrings this week, so I may just be doing the jump. I'll demonstrate the split lunge to begin with, then I may go back down to a jumping lunge, just because I personally don't want to injure myself as well. So to make sure that just to reintegrate or cons consolidate, if you're injured or you, or you are struggling, try and use a variation as well. So the last one. So my steps, I'm going to build my loss, my steps, I'm going to demonstrate the elaborate um, double steps, and that is it. Okay, so just going to get my timer ready as well. So there's going to be... So 12 exercises this time, 20 seconds exercise. So I nearly put down 20 exercises. So there's 12 exercises. 20 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. We're starting with the mountain climbers, okay, which is like an upper stance of a plank. We're going to start with five, four, three, two, one, and into the mountain climbers. Let's go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay, 20 seconds rest before we go into the jump, jump and squat. Don't forget to grab some water if you need to. 10 seconds rest left. Into the jump squats. In three, two, one, and go. Ten seconds. And stop there. Okay. I'm going to have a quick swig of water to then go into the jumping lunges. And five jumping lunges. Four, three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Next one is the plain capers. Got 15 seconds left to start doing the plain capers. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Next one is the jumping 
was the fast hops. Just over 10 seconds. Start off your left leg. How many hops can you do in 20 seconds? Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Three, two, one, and stop. You should be able to feel your um, quads, sorry, not your quads, your calves contracting, okay, you're feeling quite heavy. That show you should dissipate during the rest, then hop on your right leg. Here, okay, around about five seconds time. Four, three, two, right leg, one, and go. Ten seconds. And stop there. Okay, the next one, okay, we are going to be doing the band step, however, you can do either the double steps and then the single step as well. With 10 seconds to do the band, start doing the my steps. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Next one, we're going to be doing the in and out squat. Next time, so it's going to be in and then out. And then in. 10 seconds before we have to do that. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. In and out. If you can't do these, just do a normal squat. Or a jumping squat as well. And stop there. Next one is the broad jumps with the 180 turn. Show you after it as well, so you can go jump, 180, jump, 180. Still got 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Next one against the power jacks. I'll try and do this if I can. If you can't do that, just do a jumping, jumping jack. Okay, don't forget a power jack is in, out, and in, and one go. Three, two, one, and go. And stop there. With two more to go. The split lunges and the more steps as well. And some more quickly. Not do a split lunge, do a jumping lunge. Three, two, one, and go. And stop there. And the last one, nine steps. Do whatever one you want. Could be one step, could be an elaborate double step, backward style double step, or a single step. Only the elaborate ones in three, two, one, and go.
Last 10 seconds. And stop there. Okay, so that was video three of seven of the harder sessions. If you want to do a little bit more, just go back to the start of each core session or plyometric session. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to do watch the cool down video as well, also on YouTube. Look forward to seeing you next week for session four.